Capricorn, hello, welcome to your mid-December to January read, y'all. I'm about to sneeze. Give me a second. <coughs> ah, shit. Okay. Anyway, if you don't like naughty words, I already fucked that up. So if you don't like them, I'm sorry. Might not be the first before. Anyway. Capricorns and cross watchers, this is for the sign of Capricorn and Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. If this resonates with you, a good deal. If not, don't worry about it. You just boop your nose, away it goes. There's no point in worrying about shit that ain't about you. Don't sound like you. Or, eh, I, I, like, it, it sounds backwards, I guess. I don't fucking know. Someone's gonna be upset about shit like that. Oh. Two seconds, I gotta write down Sagittarius's title. Newcomers, if you want a personal read, all the information is in the description box below. First reading is on the house, of course. And I do take tips and donations. Or tips and donations, my bad. Of course. Thank you very kindly in advance, y'all. Anyway, Capricorn, sorry about that. Let's begin your reading, right? I have to write down the title because I got the memory of a goldfish. But I have the memory of an elephant if it's something fucking vital, like a story or some shit. It's like, if it don't sound like it makes sense, I, I, I'll remember details. When it comes to simple things, like, what was the title for that video? Um... Something? I don't know. Okay, so, Capricorns. Queen of Cups reverse is the energy. Devious nature. Someone, like, pretending in order to get something out of this. Right. Could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Situation. Third party situation leads to a breakup. Or people's vices and shit are, uh, getting exposed and they need to end. Wants and wishes is the sun reverse. Could be a Leo or a Gemini. Two people who are not clicking the way they're supposed to. Obstacle and challenge is the queen of pentacles. She's got a big ass pentacle and nobody cares. She does, like, her pentacle's way bigger than the king of pentacles. She put a lot of work into that and nobody around her cares. Right? Fears or rejections. Praying for answers to God or whoever with the hierophant. Loyalty. Commitment. How this shit starts, how it'll end. The death card. Scorpio's card. Yeah. Someone trying to find security, possibly with their king of cups. With the goddamn water, again. Hmm. What's your beginning theme? Squ Squir I almost said Scorpio. Capricorn. Knight of cups. Reverse. So, I'm going to say definitely water once again. Hopefully, I'm not in this one because I don't want to lose my shit like I did last time. Hopefully, this is completely different. But you never know. Right. Right. Let's not beg the universe for something that it's not going to give us anyway. It's very unlike us. So, let's see. The Queen of Pen Cups. The Queen of Pentacles. The Hierophant. Knight of Cups. Sun. Scorpio's right here. Hmm. I don't know, Capricorns. Seems like some weird shit here. Let's see. Like, I'm not sure what to make of this just yet. Definitely someone's being selfish here, and I don't know. But I'm not sure how. Uh, it's Queen of Cups, right? Not sure there is love involved with this bitch. Like, does this bitch really love me? Like, she's coming up with Devious Nature to see if someone loves her. You know? Um, and she's getting rather impatient with that shit, for sure. Capricorns and Crosswatchers. I'm not sure if this is you or not. 
But their impatience when they caused the Five of Cups where they were going to regret some shit because we got the Three of Cups down here as well. So, let's see. Situation. Third party situation that might lead to a breakup. You know, something isn't, ha that's not happening. That did not happen, you know. Um, but taking some action towards it, you know, that is something that, like, it's dangerous. It is dangerous. And it causes some unhappiness for sure. We got the sun reversed once again. about this one Capricorn because it's like like something isn't starting that's leading someone to take the action that would be disastrous and cause some unhappiness it's like someone hasn't taken those steps yet or that hasn't started to happen the wants and wishes with the sun reverse up here once again um Someone might take a leap of faith while in the dark, not knowing where the fuck they're going. They're wishing on the star, too, while the Hierophant is wishing on the moon. You know, could be you, Capricorn, also Taurus or Virgo. You might have your back turned, or you might be doing the ones to this. And the Strength card, once again, you might be biting off more than you can chew. Or someone's tempting a Leo to be a dick, one of the two. Um, take your pick, for reals. Uh, obstacle and challenges yourself. But here we don't see people. Vanny Demay doesn't have anybody around her except the rabbit and the bird. Here she's surrounded by people who really don't pay her any mind or attention. She has so much to offer. And her emotions, the dark side of her, you know? She's sad because nobody gives a fuck. Like, no one gives a fuck as much as she does. I mean, she can put on a pretty face and no one can be able to tell... But I feel like she's really lonely. There's a cycle here that might be beginning for her. To follow some sort of dream. Mind you, someone's wondering what the fuck is going on. And whether or not this relationship's really even happening or not. Like, they're in the dark about it. This might, something might not work, whatever this dream or whatever is, it might not work out the way it has before. Whatever this emotional fulfillment is, it's not going to work. It doesn't, I don't think it'll give you that. Whatever it is you might be looking for, or someone's looking for that in you, Capricorns and Crosswatchers. One of the two. There was a dude on the porch again looking. Yeah, someone's looking for that. Let's see. The Hyperfint. Yeah, I think someone's like infatuated with you a little bit. But something from back in the day that worked before isn't going to work before now. Like, do you turn your back to a Leo... Or someone with, like, Leo in their chart or some shit like that. Like, you turn your back on this dude because he bit off more than he can chew. Because the sun, strength, they're both his cards. Or her cards. And, like... It's like they take action. And that was what causes... The unhappiness is like they saw, like something isn't happening, so they want to like go and cause something to happen, but it brings their unhappiness. And it's like you're taking a shot in the dark to get away from them almost. Like they were your pair or some shit like that. So maybe some of you are separating from your lovers or your friends or your families for sure. But down here in the obstacle and challenge, it's like you're the obstacle and challenge. It's like, you're the new cycle, you're the awesome fucking Ten of Cups emotional fulfillment thing, but it's not working the way it used to. 
Like, very odd, right? Maybe you give this person emotional fulfillment, but you're not getting it back like you're bored. It's like, oh, uh, okay, well, whatever. It's like, like the last time I read for us, myself included, of course, um, the emotions were getting to you. And now it's like, you know, I'm not getting anything back from this. So why, why, why am I investing this? You know, I'm an Aquarius moon, right? So like mirroring and back and forth is definitely a thing for me. Like, I'll, I'll, like I'll argue, I'll argue over anything. Like it don't fucking matter. Right. But like, if I'm not getting something from somebody did I feel like I at least somewhat deserve to get some reciprocation back, I'll voice it. But if I'm still not getting what I'm asking for, or even acknowledgement that I even said something, like, that's going to be a cutoff for me. And I feel like people aren't giving you enough of what you desire, Capricorns and Cross Watchers. And I think you want to go somewhere else, but you're in the dark about where you're going. But it's also like, you know... Fuck it. I'm bored. Like, I, I have nobody to invest in. I feel like nobody's worth investing in. I feel like no one's gonna invest in me. Just fuck it. It's gonna be a good time. This Hierophant right here, the fears of rejection. Okay, yeah. Fears of rejections, right? Praying somebody understands the truth about this old ass relationship with an emperor, Aries, or a control freak, or someone who's like acts like it needs to be their way or the highway, asking for guidance about what to do with this. Or maybe someone's like fearing they're gonna lose control and the truth will come out. Something. Desperate, de uh, desperate, definitely sounds desperate for some shit, Capricorns and Cross Watchers, but it's like, hmm. Here I was thinking it was gonna be something important for me, like it was last time, but no, 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 it's something completely different. Let's see. How does shit start, how it'll end, comes full circle to the cycle, the death card! Something's getting squished and replaced for something new. Uh, someone does not want to go and resurrect or deal with this phoenix. They know the distance and they're at the right distance to not get burned to death. It's like there's no point in resurrecting this stuff. Um, with the person who's worried about them, wondering where they are. Because they're leaving a disaster behind, pretty much. What is this ending theme? At a crossroads with being a dick, pretty much. What originally made you secure, it no longer is a security for you. You don't feel like waiting for this fruitful endeavor. And there might be a mistress, Pisces or Cancer, involved. Never mind. Okay. This is a completely different perspective. Alright, so let's see. Someone's wearing a mask, Capricorns and Cross Watchers. I'm just not sure who's who yet. All right, so the energy up above. all this impatience and lack of knowing love whoever got drowned they survived and the person's regretting that they let the person drown because they didn't drown you kind of fucked it up they fucked up their whatchamacallits you know they, their tricks didn't work and now they just don't even want to pick up the sticks anymore to fix the shit right down below in this situation mind you that's the five of cups again so it's like no this person will be okay it's kind of surprising, you know? 
Someone might walk away impulsively without really thinking. Hey, kitten. Uh, possibly from you, Capricorn, even though you're some tempting hot ass, you know? Or they'll walk into a different sort of temptation. Or someone will just impulsively walk to temptation, period. You know? And they're going to learn a lesson the hard way because they didn't learn it the first fucking time. Mm. Capricorns be really careful because I feel like. Mmm. This feels like an affair. Honestly. Or someone getting feelings from it. Is that why you all been in your feelings a little bit? Because, you know, mine's completely fucking different. Um, you know, nothing like that. But this, uh, but like the way he, the emotions have been responding and shit, and like your past few readings is like, y'all have been emotionless fuck. I almost feel like this is like a fair material. It's like someone walks away from the person they love to be with someone who tempts them, and then it turns out that was a bad idea. Like, um, like the person doesn't want them. Or something. I don't know. But it's like, don't don't go with whoever it is you're thinking about. Like, hold up. Because I feel like somebody is not paying attention to red flags or they're not picking up, like, the flaws. Like, can you live with this person who wears the same socks five days in a fucking row and the smell? You know, you, you, like, you gotta look at your vices really carefully when, pe when it comes to people. Like, examine them to make sure you know you can deal with that kind of shit, right? All right, wants and wishes, my dear Capricorns and Crosswatchers. Yeah, total separation here. And hating being single. And wishing you would have had someone to listen to. Yeah, Capricorns, whatever this is, I don't think... I don't, I, I, like, I don't think separating right now is a very good idea. Especially... You're doing naughty things behind your partner's back. Which, I don't know if that's you. I don't know if this is your partner. I'm really not sure who's who. But whoever this queer is right here. Um, the lesson isn't very much about fidelity. Because, you know, like, I don't know. I'm not one of those people who, like, really... I don't believe in monogamy because one, it, it had to be manufactured within the human species as like a dominant trait for 600 years, so it's kind of artificial, but also I'm not a person who believes that like, oh, I don't want to share somebody with somebody else, and I, I've always thought that it was a selfish fucking thing to say, it's like, I don't own another person, you know, like, I'm not sharing anybody with anybody, like, they're their own person. They can do whatever they want, you know. But I don't even feel like it's one of those things as much as it is, um... Be, be careful what grass you think is greener. Because, you know, if you're dealing with somebody new, you don't know anything about them. Like, I don't know. If I were to have an affair with my husband with someone I just met, like, I probably would not go with the person I just met. Because I have ten fucking years with my husband. And he knows exactly how it works. I'm not training somebody else to learn how I'm fucking nuts, you know? Like, that's gonna be a lot of effort, and I don't know if they have, like, the strength, personality, or the willpower to deal with said crazy, right? And I feel like it's one of those things, it's like, are you getting to know a person well enough to think that they would be a good replacement for the person you were once with? Or whatever? I, I feel like this is something that you need to ask yourself if you're in this situation. Everybody else who isn't, I don't fucking know. Like, I have no idea what to tell you, but that's kind of the main thing I'm picking up right here. It's like, you or someone you're dealing with is contemplating leaving somebody for someone else, almost. Or, or, you're contemplating if shit gets sour and things might go wrong, will this person uh, work as a replacement? And I feel like the answer is no. I feel like, especially with this one and the Queen of Cups over here, both of them reverse, it's like, no. Not at all. Obstacle and challenge. 
I mean, it feels like somebody who bounces back uh, between relationships really quick, too, is get with people. I don't think that's a good idea. You know. Um, oh, someone could save you, sure. Any obstacles and challenge. Um, they would, could also bury you, too. Like, what the fuck? Um, someone comes in to save you the bury the issue? Weird, but okay. And then everybody's happy and dancing again. Hmm. So, in your obstacle and challenge, someone comes in to save the day. Y'all bury whatever it is that's going on with this shit, right? Because apparently, like, this is the end of something. And then everybody's happy. Having a good old time. I'm dropping one more, because it's like... What? Capricorns and Crosswatchers? Ugh. Someone's not dumping their emotions properly, though. Like, here's the King of Cups. He's reversed, too. They're all fucking reversed. They're all fucked up in the head. Um, it's like they it's like they don't want to release them or let them go or know something. Hmm, I don't know. Fears and rejections, Capricorns and Crosswatches. The good book says, these are the rules, you find it in, uh, commitment, loyalty, following shit, right, obedience, sending word out with the king of swords, we got a book, uh, wanting to work on things, but not really delivering, what, there's potential to work things out, but someone is not delivering, and the king of pentacles is just sitting here patiently with his bison, just waiting. Like, someone should be offering to him. And they're not, so he's just occupying himself with his, uh, like, fucking bison. Like, well, fuck it, dude. If That's, like, that's what they're trying to say. Like, someone could be like, oh, it's this way, it's that way, this is the way it's written, and then all of a sudden, King of Swords, you, you or your person might pop up being like, hey, Look at right. I've been sitting here with this fucking bison rubbing my pentacle on it because I haven't gotten that from you. What do you what do you what do you expect me to do? You know, it's almost like I, I feel like I'm talking for somebody who's actually cheating. Actually, this is what it feels like. But you know, I I I kind of understand why. It's like if you're not getting what you feel like you're missing, I understand going out looking for it. A lot of people wouldn't, but at the same time, it's just like, you know. I mean, like, if you go to McDonald's and you don't get the large fries like you've been asking for, do you not turn around and go get them fucking fries? Yes. But if their ice cream machine is down... And you keep going to every fucking McDonald's only for them to tell you it's down. When are you not going to go to Burger King to get one of theirs? You will not be happy with it. It's not going to be the same. But you acquire a taste and you're just like, well, at least I get something. Yeah. Same fucking thing. It's like someone's trying to say, I'm not getting what I need. I have to go to a fucking cow. At least I'm getting it from the cow. You know, it's almost like that. I totally feel like I'm talking from somebody who is, um... This feels like a really frustrated thing. Let's see. Yeah! I've been going to a bowl to get what the fuck I want. What do you expect me to do? You know, that's what somebody is afraid to say, but that's what they want to say. But mind you, it's a bull. It can't give you exactly what you want either, Capricorn and Cross Watcher. You know, um, it's not a person. It's a thing at this point. And I feel like if you choose a thing over your partner, it could be detrimental. Probably not to them, but more to you. Just letting you know. Okay, last row. 
God, this is dark. Ah, okay, well, there's all of them. Uh, we have the King of Wands right here. He's all miffed. He's ready to crush something, right? But something needs to be let go completely. Hmm. It's like you both need to let go of yourselves or something. Or something needs to let go of. <laughs> Someone might crush you a little bit, and that's when you'll decide to let them go, and you just pour that cup out and just like, nah, fuck these feelings. Since you want to be a dick, I'm going to be a dick back. It's like this person, or this person kind of coerces you to let something you really want go. Like a strong arm or something. I'm dropping one more. It's like you're at a crossroads to not give love anymore. Might be with your extra person, though. Could be your extra person. Someone finds something out. Mm. Or someone comes revealing some shit with the moon. Could be a Cancer, could be Pisces, one of the two. Ugh. And there that is. Okay, so that's background noise. All right, Capricorns, that was your reading. So if you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. If not, you don't got to. No worries about it, right? Right. Uh, hope this helps some of y'all out because I have no idea. This one actually kind of confused me a little bit. At least I think it did, but I'm not sure because, like, I have no idea. But anyway, um, that's your reading. So I love you guys' faces. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.